Messy, messy times that we're in. Very messy, okay? It's getting very messy for the Democrat Party, specifically, okay? Uh, hearing a lot of talk about the debates, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen a lot of videos about the debates, 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 right? Uh, it's very important, though, that we uh, focus on what's, uh, the, what the biggest problems are here with the debate, all right? Uh, they keep, I keep hearing people say, oh, well, Donald Trump didn't have a great night either, and Donald Trump uh, lied, and Donald Trump this, and Donald Trump that. Uh, I'm just here to tell you that Donald Trump did exactly what he was supposed to do. Let Joe Biden talk, okay? We all like Trump's policies. We all like Trump's ideas. Uh, even billionaires are saying that they like Trump's ideas because they're losing money, okay? High regulations, uh, bad economy, open borders. Uh, who would agree to it? Only a delusional person or someone who isn't paying attention or someone who is convinced to the core that Trump is some sort of Adolf Hitler, like Joy Reid, it's something's wrong with her brain. All right. Now, the Democrats are having a really bad time with the mainstream media. I don't think I've ever seen it this bad. Why? Because the whole entire world got a chance to see what we've been talking about probably for about I don't know, five years now, Joe Biden's uh, decline, his mental decline is just undeniable. So, you know, it's terrible and you know, it's getting very bad. And the Democrats have become extremely desperate when Jake Tapper, fake Tapper has to tell you that Joe Biden is done. Jake, but the core question is whether what you saw in those few moments of the debate and over much of the arc of that 90 minute debate uh, was someone having a difficult night or someone who is no longer up to the job. As with, he with said all... on the stage in North Carolina, he wouldn't be running if he weren't confident he's okay. up for the job. So with all due respect, um, it is not, it is not honest to say that this is just one night. There have been moments like this that people have seen in front of the cameras and other, and, and other moments but with, that, with cameras not there. Uh, just two weeks ago, let me just show this clip. Uh, there was another moment like this, not just a senior losing a train of thought, but something else going on. Uh, here he is, uh, it was in an event about immigration. He, he tries to interview, in, introduce uh, DHS Secretary Mayorkas, and there's some sort of glitch. I don't know what it is. Let, let's roll that tape. Thanks to all the members of Congress and Homeland Security, Secretary, I'm not sure I'm going to introduce you all the way. But all kidding aside, Secretary Marcus. I don't know what that was. Uh, that doesn't trouble me at all, Jake. Yeah, you heard that right. He said, that doesn't trouble me at all. Well, it troubles me that it doesn't trouble you, sir. Okay. That now they're trying to convince the American people that that's not a big deal. We haven't been watching this. Now, Jake Tapper can clearly see that. He's, he's feeling the pressure. Uh, by the way, CNN's getting a lawsuit on him for uh, Jake Tapper lying on someone, uh, mischaracterizing uh, something that someone did. Uh, but, you know, they're, they're saying that, you know, this doesn't bother me at all. And that's the attitude with some of the Democrats. That's the problem that we have right now in our country, that some people are so absolutely delusional and sick in their minds that... Joe Biden really it doesn't bother them. OK, Joy Reid says she doesn't care if he wheels out in a wheelchair. Um, she'll still not vote for Donald Trump. She still thinks that Donald Trump is Adolf Hitler, guys. Oh, my goodness. Like, it doesn't get any worse than that. It just doesn't. When you don't even care if your president can walk or talk, but that you hate someone else so much that you don't even care. This person can be completely disabled. And it really doesn't bother you at all. But I'm going to tell you who it does bother, okay? Because some of these people are terrified. Remember Crying Jones? I mean, Van Jones, remember that? Van Jones uh, is having a hard time with this because he knows the truth, okay? He knows the truth and it's undeniable, not unless, you know, you really don't have any brain cells left that you uh, smoke so much Chiba <laughs> that you just don't get it. That's the only way you'll get, you know, you must be heavily on some hard drugs, uh, some methamphetamines or something like that. But Van Jones seems to be very bothered by it. It's bothering him. I don't want you to take a look. Look, I, I'm just going to be honest. I mean, everybody comes on the air and says all this great stuff. But behind the scenes, it's full scale panic. Um, people mm. are uh, passing around legal memos. Uh, PDFs are flying back and forth on WhatsApp trying to figure out 
what are the options? How can you replace Biden? How, how do you get him to do it in a way where he feels respected as he should be respected? Who should Kamala Harris's uh, uh, vice president be? The conversation on air and the conversation off air are completely different. And so I, I, it's the same thing with you saw with, with, the, with the Trump situation where mm -hmm. people would come on air and defend Trump. And then you talk to people and then we got a crazy candidate. We don't have a crazy candidate. We have a great candidate. We have a, a, a beautiful man. We have someone who loves this country. We have someone who has given his all. I mean, his all to the last drop for this country. But Everybody sounding the alarm almost at the same time. It's never been anything like this. Never been anything like this. They have, they're forced to tell you the truth. Don't, don't think that they want to tell you the truth, guys. They, they, you know, I, like I told you before, Trump, they didn't think he would uh, uh, accept this invitation to the debate. He said that he would do it. I don't know why they didn't take him at his word. He said that he would do it uh, under the circumstances, under the regulations. He agreed to it. He did it. Uh, and now we got to see Joe Biden. The whole entire world got to see Joe Biden. We already knew uh, that Joe Biden was uh, shriveling, okay? But this, there's no shortage of uh, uh, the bashes of Joe Biden right now. Every, everybody's coming out and sounding the alarm, including Stephen A. Smith. OK, uh, he's, Stephen A. Smith has been trying to tell you guys this for a long time in the Democrat Party. He's still Trump deranged, but he's been telling you the truth. All right. He's been telling you guys the truth and you, and you just don't want to hear it. You're so scared of the black liberal woman that you don't want to come out here and admit the truth. They will shut Stephen A. Smith down so fast They'll probably steal all of his assets <laughs> in some Ponzi scheme or something. Who knows? But Stephen A. Smith, he won't go full force. He won't go all the way Trump because he'll be betraying his black people. As far as I'm concerned, don't nobody care about your black card. It ain't got nothing to do with that because uh, you won't have any of this stuff. At the, the cost of everything will price these people out of existence. There's no way in the world they can continue on with their lavish lifestyles uh, under Joe Biden. Okay. So I want you to take a listen to Stephen A. Smith show. And I want you to listen to this absolutely deranged black liberal woman guest that he has on the show. Are you fearful that you're one of the few? Heck no. Heck no. I saw my vice president. This, I'm, I'm parodying my vice president. I'm parodying my governor, uh, Wes Moore. I was just at an event with Wes. I said, Wes, are you going to support this administration? Are you going to ride with it until the wheels fall off? He said, Ariva, I guarantee you that. So I'm not one of a few. I'm in the majority. Those people you're talking to, Chris Cuomo, et cetera, y'all in the minority. The majority is hanging with this administration until we are told to do something else. Did you catch what she said? She said the majority in this administration are going to hang in there until we're told to do something else. They have to be told to do something else. You mean to tell me if the Democrats came out and told them that the Republican uh, platform was very good for black communities, they would actually do something else. All you have to do is tell them. You see how dangerous that is? All the, these people don't think on their own. That's dangerous. Okay? Any, anybody voting for a party uh, with some serious policies that can have detrimental effects on your entire country, they should be thinking on their own. They shouldn't be taking orders and they shouldn't be being able to be controlled like this. That's absolutely scary. People of her generation, that's how they are. Stephen A. Smith and him are actually being controlled by the tyrannical government and they don't even realize it. They can just be told what to do. Uh, conservatives, we, we think freely. We don't, you know, we're, not, we're not told what to do. Nobody's going to come and tell me, hey, look, I, I, I got to vote for Trump. I need to vote for Trump. Uh, you, you, we're going to stay with this thing until we're to nobody's did that nobody's able to do that I'll vote for who I think is best for me in my situation in my life based on my values actually if we want to take it a step further it goes based on what the Bible's saying but people who haven't read the Bible are just living freely out here they're just doing whatever they like they don't have any moral standards they're told what to do that's very dangerous I want you to take a listen to some of her comments about corporate media because this tells you everything about these people that you need to know. Ariva Martin, we're hanging, you know, we, 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 we're taking this position, right? But I, I would like to acknowledge that uh, the New York Times agrees, 
with that position about how Biden needs to step down. Hold on. The New Yorker believes in that position. The Chicago Tribune believes in that position. The Atlanta Journal Constitution has believed in that position, along with a plethora of polls who says a, a, a lot of folks within the American community believes that. So what do you say to that? I say I don't believe anything the corporate media tells us. The reason we have Donald Trump is because the corporate media has spent the last eight years propping him up. So why would I take my advice from them? I take my advice from the American people that voted for Joe Biden in each and every one of those primaries. If you tell me the voters, not the corporate media, decides that they want to use their delegation vote. I told you I'm a delegate. If the 4,000 delegates get to Chicago and decide, because they're free agents, they're free agents. There's no party boss telling us what to do. Mm -hmm. We get to vote our conscience. So if mm -hmm. we decide to vote for someone else, that's the someone else that'll be on the ticket. My very last question to you. <laughs> See, can't Joe let Biden me go. Stays yeah, but I can't. I can't. Joe Biden stays in this election. I promise you, this is my last question. Joe Biden stays in this election. He refuses to walk away. All right. He stay in the course. He goes and he competes. And ultimately, he has a second debate in September. I pray that it's not nearly as bad as what we witnessed last Thursday. And then he is on a ballot and the election takes place in November. And folks listen to you and folks who think like you, the Kamala Harris, the Gavin Newsom, the Westmore and others. And Joe Biden loses this election. What are you going to say then to people who thought that he should have bowed out? Stephen A. Smith, according to those corporate media sources you just cited and those polls, Joe Biden was losing this election even before he stepped foot on that stage in that debate hall in Atlanta, Georgia. So I would say this country has bought in was hoodwinked, con by a con artist. Had nothing to do with this one debate. Those polls have had Joe Biden and Kamala Harris losing pretty much consistently. So it is not going to be the debate that causes Joe Biden to lose if he does lose. And I don't think he will lose. It That's will not what I asked you. That's not what I asked you. Amnesia about the chaos, about the tyranny of Donald Trump. That is not what I asked you. I asked you if this man stays the course and he's in the election and he loses a reaver, the people support him and he still loses this election. How are you going to feel? That's what I asked you. I'm going to feel the same way I would have felt pre-June debate and post-June debate. I will feel horrible because I know the harm that a tyrant like Donald Trump will cause, particularly, particularly for people that look like you and me. She said the corporate media has been propping up Donald Trump uh, for a long time. Uh, I, I'd say that the corporate media has been calling Trump a racist, has been calling him Adolf Hitler. They've been calling Trump every name under the sun in order to take this man off of his campaign. They've been weaponizing the justice system against him. Um, this is why people are so disenfranchised. This is why people don't understand uh, why Trump supporters are rallying by the hundreds of thousands because of corporate media. So she's telling you that, no, it's the voters that are deciding this. We, we don't listen to corporate media. If she wasn't listening to corporate media, if people weren't listening to corporate media, why do we need corporate media? Because without corporate media, Trump would already be in office, okay? He would he'd been in office a long time ago if corporate media was out of the picture. If Joe Biden doesn't have a lot of people voting for him. Joe Biden has a lot of people that hate Trump because of corporate media, all right? So to her point, no. Uh, corporate media hasn't been siding with Trump for that long uh, until more recently uh, when they tried to weaponize the justice system against him uh, and it's all come out and now we see that Joe Biden is a complete failure uh, based on his performance at the debate. But this woman is delusional. And, and, and the reason why uh, I'm, I'm highlighting all these points from this woman is because a lot of liberal black women think just like this, okay? They think just like this. What is she fighting for? Does it make you want to think like, what in the world is she fighting for? She said democracy, they all say that, but what is she really fighting for? Don't you, don't you wonder, like, what's, what's, what's gassing these people up so much that they are so enthusiastic about the Democrat Party. What could it possibly be? Do you wonder? Because if you've been paying close attention, you would know, just like I know, there's nothing. <laughs> there's absolutely nothing 
but a bunch of welfare, a bunch of handouts, a bunch of funding wars, open borders, and everything that's destructive to this country. What else could it possibly be that these people really love about the Democrat Party? If you know, please tell me in the comments. Seriously, if there's something that Joe Biden has done that's so extraordinary that you just can't hold it in anymore, that you must deliver this message to us and to tell us why on earth people are diehard Joe Biden fans. Because I don't see any Joe Biden hats, stickers, flags. I don't see any of that anywhere, anywhere in sight. Uh, not on YouTube. I don't see on any Facebook. I see Joe Biden supporters getting shut down. So when corporate media decides to stop pandering for old Joe, when they decide to stop lying about Joe Biden and the Democrat Party and how wonderful they are, I believe the party will not exist anymore. That's what I would believe. But since corporate media has been running cover for all these people who've been lying to no end, this is the only reason why anybody would vote for Joe Biden. That's my conclusion. Like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment, please. Uh, and I enjoy you. I hope you enjoyed the video and got a lot out of it. Have a good day.